let's jump right in. Here we go. We're almost here. Turkey Day is coming. And now for our feature presentation. This episode of e-commerce bits TV is brought to you by Volusion. Volusion.com backslash colder ice. Check it out. Let's jump right in. Here we go. We're almost here. Turkey Day is coming. What's happening on eBay is eBay is actually offering sellers a special discount of 20% starting on Turkey Day all the way up to Christmas Day if you follow a few criteria. The one thing you have to do is you have to have uh, one day handling on your items. If you have one day handling uh, on your listings, you need to have 14 days or more for your return policy and you have to offer a free expedited shipping feature. All right, it doesn't matter if you have others that are paid, but there has to be at least a free expedited uh, shipping available for your customers. If you do that, what eBay is going to do is they're gonna offer you what they say is 20% off of your final value fees. So I decided to just kind of do the math a little bit. And I wanna share that information. Let's take a look at this. If you're actually doing about $1,000 a month, we've got it set up here where it's doing 100 times $10 a piece, that equals about $1,000 a month. That'll put you in the ballpark for being a power seller on the platform at the lowest tier, which is, is a pretty good number to work with because it's got a lot of zeros, all right? So now, let's say that you're doing this, and I'll just do it in my category. I do a lot of apparel and Clothing and apparel is running at a 12% final value fee. So $1,000 sold times 12%. Who remembers how to do mathematics that way? Me, 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 me. You multiply it by dot one, two. That equals 12%. And so you're going to come out with a final value fee for that $1,000. 12% will equal $120. Okay, so that's how much you pay in final value fees after the auction ends with a sale on eBay. Now what eBay is going to offer you now for this special is 20% off of that $120. That, my friends, will equal out to a whopping $24. So basically, if you do the math all the way down, that $24 is actually only 2.4% of your gross merchandise value in sales. So you have to really make sure that you do the math and don't get totally caught up in, oh, I'm saving 20%. Well, basically, you're actually saving 2.4% for every $1,000 you sell, which, hey, $24 for every $1,000 is not chunk change, but you just want to make sure that all of your ducks are in order because they're requiring a lot from sellers to get this kind of a bonus of $24 per thousand dollars. And you just want to make sure that when you're thinking 20%, it's 20% of something that's only 12% and that really equals out to 2.4%. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight on some of the savings you can get. This right now is the season that you are going to hump, you're going to hump, you're going to work, you're working, you're working, working because everybody is buying from you hopefully right now because they're trying to get their Christmas shopping done. But also it is the same time, it's kind of like the season where you have all hands on deck, you guys are doing a lot, but at the same time you've got to prepare for 2012, which is right around the corner. So there might be some things that you want to implement in 2012. Right now is the time to get started and do the preliminary work so that when day 26 hits, the day after Christmas, you're ready to hit the ground running with implementing all of the things that you want to do 
to, you know, push things forward in the new coming year. I mean, there are things that you know you want to do. Maybe you're not doing an email campaign. You want to implement that or you want to add some kind of social media marketing to your mix or you might be wanting to expand your items to multiple channels. Today, right now, start thinking about taking a half an hour, an hour a day to simply prepare yourself, whether that means going over the plans, laying out the plans, whatever you might have to learn about the new platforms, creating the new, you know, listing IDs, whatever that thing might be. Today and right now is the time to get that started so you don't get caught off guard with kind of like nothing to do after the, you know, Christmas season's over, you just sit back and kick your feet up. No, we don't do that. We get ready for 2012 right around the corner. So get this, guys. Next week, I'm going to do that with you. Let's say you want to start that email campaign. What are the things you need to be thinking about and getting ready? What about adding a new channel? What are some of the checklists that you want to be going through to get ready for that? Or a social campaign. So in our next episode of E-Commerce Bits, I'm going to help you go through some of the steps to prepare yourself for 2012 and amping your business up. Hey guys, like I said, we are in the Christmas season and everybody's feeling the spirit. I've got a five tip list that I want to share with you to let you know that you might be a Christmas Scrooge if you don't do these five things. Number one, you might be an e-commerce Christmas Scrooge if you don't accept returns with a reasonable amount of time and anybody that has a reasonable explanation for that return. Let me break it down, guys. A reasonable explanation for a Christmas item is I don't like it. It doesn't fit. The color is off. Those are reasonable reasons for anybody to return something, and especially during the gift giving season. You know what I'm saying? So think about how you're going to change your return policy or formulate a return policy that's going to be friendly to Christmas shoppers who are gift giving. I might buy it today and I'm not giving it to the person until December 25th and then you figure they got to try it on and make sure it's, you know, fits or they like the color and then I have to go to the merchant and tell them that I want to return. So if you're only doing a two week return, you kind of cut everybody off until a week or two just before Christmas because they're afraid that they can't return it once they buy it. So think about that. You know you're an e-commerce Scrooge if, number two, you don't offer some sort of holiday special. I don't care what it is, think about it, make it work into your business model, but definitely try to dress out some of your marketing and advertising with a special that is absolutely tied to this holiday season. It really, really helps. Number three, you know you're an e-commerce Scrooge if you forget that this is the holiday season. It's not just one holiday. There's three major holidays in this season. There's Christmas, of course, we all know that, but also gift giving happens on Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Think about Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Hanukkah starts on December 20th. Kwanzaa starts on December 26th. Just think about those holidays and maybe that's another way for you to amp up some business. Hey, you know you're an e-commerce Scrooge if, number four, if you don't amp up your customer service. You have to do that. Recognize, here's what's happening guys, is that in the fourth quarter, and especially around Christmas time, you have people that don't shop at all on the internet come to the internet to shop specifically for the holiday season. They might not be as seasoned as many other uh, customers that you have. They might have more questions, they don't understand the process, and you have to really handhold these guys because a lot of them are brand new to the process. So amp up your customer service, prepare 
for the coming of new customers, not just to your store and your products, but to the buying level of internet buying that they've probably never experienced before. I'm still trying to get my mom to buy something on the web. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know you're an e-commerce Scrooge if Number five, if you don't display your Christmas delivery schedules, you have to let people know what the delivery schedule is for your Christmas sales. I know it is not that hard. You know the last day of the week that somebody has to buy from you to get it to them on time for Christmas. You should post that date up on your listings and in your stores so people can know that hey if I order it by X date it will make it by Christmas that will really amp up your sales and it will really really make somebody choose you over the other guy that doesn't tell them anything so definitely put that there make it prominent make it easy to read and people will actually buy from you and choose you, even if you're more expensive than the other guy, because you're guaranteeing them that that item will arrive in time for the holiday season. All right, guys, this is your boy John, coldrice.com. Don't forget to join us next week where we got some really, really killer stuff, and I'm gonna help you get ready for 2012 with some of the things that you might wanna be thinking about if you are gonna amp it up in doing more email marketing or adding another channel or starting a social marketing campaign. I'm out of here for now. Thanks for tuning in. E-commerce Bits TV, we out. This episode of E-commerce Bits TV was brought to you by Volusion. Open a successful online store with Volusion. Get free ready-to-go templates, everything you need to succeed, and unlimited 24 by 7 support. The only limitation these days is your imagination. Get unlimited amount of photos, unlimited amount of product options and selections, also integrated one-page checkout, only with Volusion. Go check it out, volusion.com backslash colder ice.